Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. We have been riding for two days, if you've been watching, and the weather has been decent, and then really soggy, and then today I think we might get a mix. It might not be so soggy. We are in Tualatin Nature Reserve. Is that where yes, we are? Yes, Tualatin Hills Nature Reserve. And this is Brandon. Brandon and Brandon and I have tried to ride I, while I was here in Portland <laughs> many, many times. I, I, he reached out to me and said, if you have time, if you have time, come and let's ride together. And it just never clicked. Yeah. But uh, he, he, you knew I was coming back here. You're like, Matt, <laughs> when you get back here, we got to ride. So I set aside oh, yeah. uh, a Sunday and uh, it should be a really fun day. Oh, it's going to be a, a fun 40 mile ride, mostly trails and some road ride but it all has bike lanes and that's the, the great thing about it we oregon has really good trails i mm -hmm. mean you did the banks renonia trail yep that's a really good one you know then we did the leap erickson which was a <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you, you been know, on that recently i i haven't <laughs> been on it in a while but you know i mean the trail we're doing you're gonna go through some wetlands with bridges on them and some really good scenery with lakes it you guys will love the ride so actually my youtube channel is a gaming youtube channel okay so i do all video games that's the reason why i'm wearing the mask is i he's, he's am a hidden, he's he's a hidden celebrity yeah i i am doing a thing where i'm going to reveal my face to my youtube subscribers so if some of my followers watch your channel i don't want them getting a pre-early release i got an early release <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just yeah. when I drove up, I got the early release. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm actually a game designer too, so when I play these games and I look at games and I review them, I look at them in the view of the player and then also the developer and a game tester. I'll leave a link for it in the description below, so take a look. Um, can I tell them that you have cerebral palsy? Is oh, yeah. Okay? So Brandon has cerebral palsy, and so he's gone from a two-wheel bike to a three-wheel bike, and. And obviously the three wheels is a little bit more uh, forgiving for... It, it's a lot more forgiving. So yeah. people with cerebral palsy, they don't have good balance. And yeah. I'm one of the lucky few that have been able to ride a two wheel upright bike. Yeah. Because of cerebral palsy, my age, my back and my left side that has the cerebral palsy has gotten worse. So I had to go to a trike to alleviate those pains that you get with the, the back yeah the next stuff like that and this has been a saving grace to allow me to continue riding with my dad you bought your trike from mel right i bought mine from yeah. mel at so, PDX. yep yep Rip got, mel mel has been riding with us for the last couple of episodes and he has yep. a trike shop so he brought that from him cool cool so we're gonna go on a 40 mile ride yep. and uh, we're gonna start through here or actually we're saving that till the end okay That's we'll finish the this. best part oh okay. yeah yeah we're, we're going to loop out around here go around the outskirts continue down the trail and then connect to another trail that takes us into Bethany and then into Hillsboro and then loop around riding a road and connect back to some part of this trail and then finish off going through this wonderful nature park. Sounds like fun. Let's go. Okay, so we just left, we had coffee, and we came back. One, I wasn't sure if I locked the van, but it's locked now. Two, I forgot my flags. How am I gonna ride around without my Azim flag and my Jayo flag? Come on now, Matt, represent. Number three, it was too hot, so we stripped off and I put on a, a nice little lighter jacket. Is there a four? Four, I, I, I showed off the inside of the van. <laughs> Looks good. And then five, uh, we go through some pretty areas, and uh, I kind of wanted to set the uh, set the drone up. So, yeah, cool. Let's go again. <laughs> yeah. It is a nice day for a ride. And uh, thank you, Rob, for the uh, the lightweight uh, lightweight jacket. This is the first time I got to wear it. It was a it was a gift from my buddy Rob here in Portland. So that's kind of nice. I'm very bright as a matter of fact. It's, it's contrasting the actual video, I think. 
This is, I'm blowing the screen out. Brandon is, uh, is my guide. He's like, get the camera out. This is a good part. <laughs> it's nice to have somebody tell you. Otherwise, you've got to kind of guess guess which, which spots will be nice. Oh, I'm not going to put through there. <laughs> you barely got Barely me. through. I did it. Okay, Matt. Yep. We're going this way. All right. Okay, we're gonna go across here. Okay. Going across. Going across. Wait. Oh, there's a Kurt. What? What's he doing? What's he doing? Go around? This is a tie fly axe. We don't go around. Oh, that was easy. You are on the. <laughs> this thing is a curb hopper. <laughs> Holy moly. I would have never been able to hop a curb like that in my Scorpion, that's for sure. This thing tackles that curb like it was nothing. How high is that curb? That's about six inches. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is super nice. Boom, boom. <laughs> Still a cheater. Hey, cheating. Little bounce, bounce. Holy moly. This is revolutionary. This is revolutionary. My, my loaded down Scorpion 20 FS. Holy moly, I used to have to get out and lift that thing over curbs all the time this is quite that's quite nice he still has a, he has still hasn't found a place to to curve around yeah this trail is kind of interesting that they have these power line areas that, that you know every city has these major power line uh you know roads basically fields and we're next to one in michigan and they just haven't done anything with it it's just grass but being able to like turn it into a park with a whole bunch of like different things going on other than irradiating yourself with the whatever the <laughs> crazy radiation coming off of those power lines that's pretty cool this is kind of nice what is this it's a public garden the neighborhood garden where the, the neighborhood just sort of puts up and, and does gardening oh neat yeah. no metal <laughs> yep. no metal just in case there's like a power surge or something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine no metal is an important thing. But that's kind of nice. It's nice when you can involve the community in something that, you know. Oh yeah. And maybe you can eat, you know, you can eat all that later. Oh, here's another curb hop. Hello. Yeah, it's very useful.
Are you uh, so? Uh, how are we doing here? You good with directions? You know where we're going? Uh, somewhat, I think. It looks a little soft here. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're having the lighter truck go first. Mush. Oh my God! <laughs> this is a workout. <laughs> Yeah, we are putting this strike through its paces. I mean, if he can go through it, I can go through it. That's for sure. When you're dealing with soft substrate, the tires are one thing, but also your fat ass is another thing. Interesting trail. You're going through some suburban towns, power line corridor, which was kind of cool. But now I think we're going to be going through a neighborhood. All right. So in Beaverton area and Portland area, the great thing I like about the trails is they have devices like this where you have a bike pump to help with flats and you have all of your great tools right here to help fix your bike. Yeah. Well, it doesn't even look like it's been vandalized at all. Because people in the Portland Beaverton area respect cyclists. Super cool. You know, in, in Japan, they have a lot of this sort of thing. Uh-huh. Areas to fix your bike, areas to exercise, lots of lots of trail side. Oh, nice. You know, fitness centers in uh, Korea as well. Yeah. I Korea is a lot. Exercises in some of those. Yeah, super nice, super nice. Under uh, under every bridge, you know. Yeah. So if it's raining, it's, you're not going to get rained on or anything. It's it's yeah. really nice. Cool. Let's continue on. All right. <laughs> you know, every trail sort of as you start really getting a a repertoire of, of cycling trails. They remind you of other trails like this this ride right now reminds me of i think korea As, uh, i think i was riding around daegu and leaving daegu they had this like really beautiful park that was in this like a uh, corridor for power lines and it was really really nice a lot of bridges lots of cool stuff going on there beautiful weather that day so uh, where are we now we are now in hillsborough Heading towards the Rock Creek uh, path. And this is a golf course. Yeah, we're at a golf course. Very so nice. It, it, it's very sort of interesting. It's nice. I always keep my ears up for four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a sign here. Errant balls may cause severe injury. My doctor said that to me. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those errand balls. They, they will cause you some injuries. Anytime I go under a bridge, it feels like like China. <laughs> China's got a lot, of, well, Ningbo especially, has got a lot of bridges. Lots and lots of bridges. Under them, you'll have any manner of things from exercise gear to like a relaxing spot to hang out, maybe some food vendors. Ningbo's got so many bridges that it's woven into culture. In fact, my daughter, when she was born, I think, I think it was when she was born, you had to drive over like nine bridges when she was born or something. There was some sort of, some sort of Ningbo thing that was ingrained in culture. And that, that, that was carried over since ancient times, you know, when, when there were those really beautiful arching, archway style uh, concrete bridges. Well, they weren't concrete, they were, they were like solid boulder or brick bridges. I remember we were driving through this, through this town, trying to find all the bridges we could in order to satisfy the, uh, the cultural need. We are slow going guys. Just very casual ride. A lot of stopping for videos and stuff. Okay, we're crossing here. We're gonna grab some food though. Have a late lunch. Probably gonna be an early dinner for me. I don't eat much in the evenings. Maybe a handful of almonds.
So we are at uh, Red Robin and we are talking. Um, Brandon and I have been buddies. How long have we talked? Oh. I mean, beyond me coming to Portland, but we've talked for a number of years. Oh, often. And uh, being able to come here and ride with them is quite nice. Uh, sharing stories and, and you know you've seen a lot of my content yep. you know, a large percentage I can't show you his face that's why you're only looking at my ugly face because if I show him the camera will explode <laughs> anyways punch the camera you punch the camera I promised my viewers that I would do a face reveal <laughs> six months ago this camera started tweaking on me and the the shutter doesn't open properly and stuff, and I was just telling him that, that, that I, w I actually would not mind if this camera took a death blow, because then I could take a new one to, to Europe and not have to worry about dealing with the finickiness of this guy. Like I said, I'm willing to find this. No, 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 no. <laughs> we can't, you can't honestly break the camera. We have to let the camera break itself. Well, that's simple. All I do is, hey, Matt, look over there. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I wouldn't eat a hamburger like this, because I'm at that age where it just, it'll add on, it'll add up. But when you ride like, that's one of the great things about travel lifestyle, you know, when you're cycling and touring. You can do these kind of things and it won't hurt you in the end. This is just fuel. <laughs> yep. Fuel the tank. Jayo. <laughs> All right, we're back on the road. I've got a few ounces of beer in me. And a big burger and some french fries. Feels good. So we'll give a short ride back to the van and then it'll be the end. This is a TIE Fly X, I don't gotta worry about that shit. <laughs> Come on now. All right guys, that was a fun ride. We're wrapping it up. We're headed back to the park right now. Brandon says, this is a, a nice ride. Nice end, end to a ride, short ride. So this whole area is built on wetlands, right? Yes it is. I can see that. It's very wet. I wonder what kind of cool rides I'm gonna have around North America. I bet you there's some really, really beautiful places. This being one of them, but I'm just saying more different varieties of forest and animal and plant life. They cut these corners just for me. Yeah. I mean, it's just, a, just enough for me to turn. I always think about this and I've said it a number of times. No matter where you are, what you're doing, whether you're in a big city, on farmland, field, wherever, this forest is standing there waiting for you to see it. You know, that's kind of interesting and comforting. Every beach I've ever been on, every mountain I've ever climbed, every old forest or jungle, it's still there for the most part, unless it's been radically developed. But this will be here for a while, it's protected. Obviously the weather can change things. A rainy day through this trail, not quite as nice. Maybe a sunny day. Maybe not quite as nice too. This is perfect. The cloudiness of things gives it a luster that you wouldn't necessarily have if it was uh, sunny. It'd be sharp and the colors would be brighter. But sometimes riding through a forest that's mossy and overgrown, it's good to do it here. This forest reminds me of the suicide forest in uh, Japan. The place carried a weight to it because of all the people that have walked in there never to come out again. It was still beautiful. Very similar to this. I went into that forest just before Logan Paul did and he ended up photographing a dead body. It raised all kind of stink and then they found my video and they compared me to Logan Paul. It's like, bro, that's apples and oranges. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I hate that sound. Well, that was a very nice ride. Did you guys have fun? I had fun. Brandon, did you have fun? Oh, always. Half gone. Okay. Turn left, then turn right. Oh, that was that was a great ride. Enjoyable. That was a lot of fun. 
Brandon, Brandon has a yellow jacket that is the same yellow as my trike. And I'm going to borrow this jacket when I go to Europe. Yep. <laughs> and in return, I'm going to lend him my jacket. And when I get back here, we'll swap back. Swap back. That's speaking of which. <laughs> so take it easy, guys. That was a great ride. Uh, yeah, I'll leave uh, Brandon's information below. You check him out on his channel if, if gaming is your thing. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. It's like the perfect trike van right now. Yeah. Nothing's in it. It's just the way it is.